Good morning, my name is Gwen Garner. I work with American University of Integrative Sciences School of Medicine as the director of our alumni association. We're eagerly awaiting the arrival of Dr. Tyler Sexton. Dr. Sexton has had a very uh, unique and challenging approach to his education. He's never let any obstacle stand in his way. So since graduating from AIS, um, I went to residency at the University of South Alabama, uh, trained in pediatrics, and also became a subspecialist in hyperbaric medicine and wound care. Um, and uh, since that time, I am a chief of pediatrics and the medical director of pediatrics for a hospital in Pascagoula, Mississippi. Along with that, I am a, a pediatric hospitalist for uh, John Hopkins All Children's Hospital in Tampa, Florida. And I am uh, a hospitalist for uh, the University of South Alabama Women's and Children's Hospital in Mobile, Alabama. And along with that, I am again a hospitalist at, in Pascagoula, Mississippi. So my desire in pediatrics comes down to my personal testimony. Um, when I was 28 weeks, uh, both my lungs collapsed and they told my parents they would keep my body warm so they could hold me for the first and last time before they buried me. Um, so there wasn't much hope for my survival. Um, if I was going to survive, they told my parents that I'd be um, in a wheelchair the rest of my life and that I could sharpen pencils for a living. Um, <clears throat> and that didn't instill much hope. As I got older, um, I ended up having 16 surgeries, uh, months and months in the hospital. Uh, and uh, knew that I wanted to be a doctor to give hope to people. Because my entire life, it's been, you'll never do this, you'll never do that. Um, and I thank God that when people say no, God says yes. And I took uh, that uh, mantra, and I realized that everybody's handicapped. You only handicap yourself by choice. Mine the world can see, but everybody's struggling with something. And I wanted to give hope to people. Pediatrics <clears throat> just made sense for me. I'm a big kid at heart, um, and I wanted to impact both the children and their parents, uh, letting them know that 10% of life is what happens to you and 90% is how you react to it. 